Hey there, Libra. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Oh, welcome in. Welcome back. That's awesome. Ooh, change of heart, huh? Change of heart. Perception shifting because you're feeling different about something. We're already getting messages. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be for Libra or anybody that was drawn here, really. Take what fits. Leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message or a different reader and see if that hits home for you, okay? I'm going to start with the Light Seer's Tarot. Ew. That was such a fancy card. Do a full Celtic cross spread with the Light Seer's Tarot. Wow. So things are great at home. I feel like your relationships are really healthy right now. I definitely don't see anybody, anything that needs to go, so that's good. I don't even see self-work that needs to be done. Just continue doing what you're doing because it's enough. 5-5 five, five on the timer. This is a change. This is a shift. What's this? Eight of Cups. Ah, because you've already walked away. You've already walked away, <clears throat> and I think that you have found stability in the new very specific message for somebody um, there was a toxic individual around your children and I kind of feel like you're putting your foot down with that a little bit Libra very specific for somebody incoming is the ten of swords wonderful so as Mercury continues to move through its retrograde shadow period you are releasing the remnants right? Like the leftover um, residual energy. That's what it's called. Residual energy. Thank you, whoever said that. Um, I heard you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Releasing the rest of the residual energy. Um, basically, the leftover feelings you have after a situation dies down um, and you eventually no longer have those feelings. But there could be a little bit of that that you're still dealing with, a little bit of that still coming up for you. Um, it's a 10 though, so it's like the last little bit. The final dinner's cooked. Uh, we're just waiting to, for it to cool down so we can eat, right? It's already done. We're just waiting for everything to finish cooling down so that we can, yeah, eat. Or maybe you're waiting for the leftovers to cool down so that you can package it and actually put it away, right? Libra! In the foundation is the happiest card in the deck. The sun card I feel like you are having a revelation here I feel like you're really enjoying this free energy because you're free of something that was not good for you um, and you might not be the only person that you were doing this for especially if you're a parent right your children could have been um, impacted by this as well so you're doing it for them as well um, I love this especially because I'm picking up on a lot of psychics I'm picking up on a lot of mediums so the energy you're in, when people connect with you, they will pick up on that, okay? When you watch readings and you're like, that's not really my story, but I know somebody going through that. So if this is coming up for me, maybe I need to pay attention because I might be feeling some of what their experience is, right? Number one way to find out you're an empath is that right there. Yeah. Who you're investing in, who you're surrounded by says a lot about who you are because you pick up that energy especially if we're talking about romantic partners, um, anybody you have contracts with, right? Those can all be connections, ways that people connect to your energy and then back and forth with that energy, which does include karma. You don't wanna end up taking on somebody else's karma. You certainly don't want your babies taking on somebody else's karma, right? Recent past, quite a bit actually. Eight of Pentacles. I am talking to tarot readers. This one's for the tarot readers. This one's for the psychics, the mediums, the empaths, the whatever kind of clair it is that you have. This is for you. You've been working with your gifts, and I think you're doing really good. I think you're doing really good. I think you're watching your life, your situation um, grow, blossom. Like, listen to that bird, 444 on the timer. We also had the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like you're, you've recently, in the past, you've been inspired to try new things. Even if it seems a little bit risky, 
I feel like I should have pronounced that risque. Even if it feels a little bit risque, right? Okay, there's an ancestor coming through. Meow. Hi, doodles. Hi, fancy man. Are you telling me someone's here? Yeah, somebody's ancestor is definitely here. Um, I think they're just watching. I think they're just protection, protecting. I usually hear words and stuff. She's just smiling. She's just smiling. I think she's super happy of where you are, how far you've come. This definitely is a female. Um, definitely a female. And she's just smiling. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. I feel like you know exactly who this is. You're already aware that they're around, that she, she's around. Um, she's, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> that's all she says. Yeah. It's okay. Um, wow. Something about flowers. Either she wore a lot of flowers or she was really into gardening had a couple favorite flowers not just one I like that don't limit yourself yes she gets it knight of pentacles in the crowning everywhere you go you're just spreading love spreading positivity spreading the seed of abundance in all its shapes and forms all its flavors I feel like things are coming together for you too, you know, like definitely picking up on less drama, um, less stress. You're getting more rest at night. Um, everything just seems so much more peaceful, calm. Oh, it's relaxing. It's very relaxing. In the near future, we do have the Page of Swords. So this could be that someone is watching your stuff, stalking social media is what I just heard. Um, could also be you, though, if you are looking them up. You're the stalker in the readings, <laughs> just so you know. But I, I don't think it's you. I think this is you more so asking questions about what else can I do now? What did I just, or what else have I freed myself up for? I feel like this is more so you, it's almost like, you know when a child goes to some, a new babysitter or just even a new family member or friend's house and they test their boundaries, this is almost you like, oh my gosh, so where are the boundaries? What are the possibilities? What's going on here? That's kind of what I'm getting with the page of swords is like, oh, I have so many questions now, like, because I feel like there's so many new options available to you so many new opportunities that you can dive into and you're really you know you're inspired here you're feeling passionate about this and you want to dig into it and it definitely has to do with your spiritual journey but um yeah there's a lot of questions a lot of questions the more you pull away from whoever that was or they were because for some of you this is more than one person um i'm getting in a job situation yeah they're gossiping about you but like I do feel like there's someone in the crowd that's saying, you know what, at least they made it out of here. We're all still stuck here, so we can talk bad on this person all we want, but ideally, they're walking the path we've all been wanting to and saying we're going to. And So I just kind of feel like even behind your back in rooms that you're not present, the, the talking about you is kind of closing out it's coming to an end it's it's doling into the background until it just fades into nothingness i love that yeah the world see and that was the obstacle the fear worry concern what happens when i close this door the unknown for a minute until it is known and you're like oh hey wait <laughs> this is actually kind of nice you know this could even be a habit i i thought i said that this could even be a habit that somebody's putting down what is or no how how is the universe viewing libra in this situation we have capricorn virgo leo all the fixed signs 
Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio on the board so far. King of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's really trying to paint you out to be a bad person, but it's like, you know who you are and the universe definitely sees who you are. Not everything that people say about you is true. Not everything we hear about other people is true. People lie, energy does not. This is why you've been working so hard on being able to read the room, read people, read their energy, know their motives before they pull the plug. You know what I mean? You hold on to who you know you are because, you, yeah. I do, I feel like someone went around and tried to tarnish your name. Yeah, Page of Wands, but you're moving on. Keep doing that, and that's the goal here. The goal is to take that new step. Take that new step, that new journey. And don't forget who you are. Hold on to that. You know? You know your truth. Other people might think they know your truth, but they know their experience with you. It doesn't mean that they're going to tell people exactly what that experience was like. You know, they could twist it up, just like we could too. But I just don't see that for you. I don't see you being that type of person. I feel like you'll call yourself out. You're like, no, well, I did do that and that wasn't right. They also did that, that wasn't right. Like we both, we both made mistakes. We both took it too far, said something we shouldn't, you know what I mean? But I feel like you have this self-control where you can say, you know what? I don't like where this is going or I don't like how um, upset I'm getting, how this is making me feel I need to pull back from this and I feel like you have the ability to do that it's almost like you're you're pulling this Aquarius energy out and you're like mm, I need to not feel about this right now I'll think about it later but right now I just need a pause a break I need to focus on something else and I love this because when you take a step back from a situation you get a better picture of what's really going on here for a lot of you guys, it's the excuses. And I hate to say that, but like, if we're being really, really honest with ourselves, it's the excuse, right? I haven't put down the stupid vape because I'm addicted to the, the nicotine and the chemicals and it's too hard and I get really emotional and cry for days over nothing. And it's because I was filling a hole. I had a hole in my heart, a hole in my soul. And for some reason that seemed to fill it. And that helps me out when I'm stressed. And so I have all these reasons why I do it. And I have all these excuses for why I haven't quit, right? You feel where I'm, you see where I'm going with that? So um, it's almost like if we just toss the excuse part to the side, what are the benefits of putting it down, right? Better health, more money in my pocket, probably going to live longer, be here um, for my kids, right? Like, Focusing on that, I think, is what's shifting the perspective. I think that's the biggest change here. Instead of all the, I don't know what happens when I walk away from this job or stop talking to that family member that's never had my interest, best interest at heart ever, um, leaving that person that says they love me, but it's the two penny method, right? Like, don't focus on the unknowns. What happens when I focus on the, well, I could do this with my free time. I could do that with my free time. I could get more into blah, 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 like whatever it is, you know? Anyways, what is the potential outcome? The goal is for you to take that new step. My goodness, with the pages, swords, wands, pentacles, the only one we don't have is... Um, cups, page of cups, because I feel like the emotions aren't really, there's no cups here except for the seven in the recent past. And that's the options. That is the only cups. Wow. Definitely the Aquarius energies, that king of um, swords, Aquarius and the world card. You also have double Leo out here. Leos are about their passion. They'll take up that stage. 
If you got stage fright, they'll drag you up there and just their confidence will rub off onto you and all of a sudden you guys are doing a duet karaoke and you're having the time of your motherfucking life. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. It's your Aquarius, it's your Leo. These are fixed energies. They're not very swayable. Page of Pentacles came out with the Three of Wands. All these seeds that you've been planting along the way here, or that you're thinking about planting, do it and see where it takes you. Let go of the how do I get somewhere and just do you. Because I'm telling you, you know things about your future that there's no way you could possibly know except for the fact that you have gifts. You know things about other people and their futures that they have no way of knowing. You have no way of knowing. God is pretty much the only one that should be able to know that, yet somehow you know. So when you think that you're going to do something or be somebody or you are, you really are. And it doesn't matter if other people don't see it. They don't have to. They don't have, you have to see it. You have to believe in you. And then when it happens, everybody else will see it, right? Until then, only with the eyes to see, we'll see. You feel me? And I know you do, because <laughs> we got all this going on over here. You know. It's not always about how to get to the finish line. It's about the journey to enjoy that. You know where you're going to end up. Let go of the how you get there. That's faith, right? Believing that God's got your back. Your ancestors are coming through. Anyways, overall, two of wands. <clears throat> yeah. Ace of wands, two of wands, three of wands, four of wands. My goodness. <laughs> my goodness Libra there's a lot of action here very very busy but this busyness is because you're very passionate you're very inspired you are ready to take action it's like having a fire lit under your butt and you just can't relax until you get something done then you can relax you know what I mean it's like you got ants in your pants <laughs> look at that spirit's got a plan I know that's right Let's pull an animal spirit oracle to wrap here. Closing message, please and thank you. Ooh, I just felt something right in my heart. Maybe that's what it is. If there's a lot of hurt in your heart or a lot of sad in your heart, just this is a great way to break up that energy. The tapping method. If you've been getting a lot of headaches, your forehead itches, you feel like your intuition's not working like it should be. You use the wrong deodorant, whatever it might be. Tap your forehead and that'll help to break up your third eye as well. Tapping. I love tapping. Tapping is great. Breaking it up, releasing the old, getting the energy moving. That's good stuff right there. I'm also getting somebody is feeling their wings. You're feeling your wings. You've got a lot going on with your shoulder blades. Those are your wings, honey. Closing message for Libra. Oh, I just heard. With a broken wing, she carries her trees. Man, you want to see her fly. I think that's Martina McBride. Uh, broken wing is the name of the song. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard that since I was a little girl. Yeah, time to let go with Groundhog Spirit. 31 is a four. We saw 444 on the timer. First card out was four of wands. Time to let go, guys. Something deep down. Look, it's holding your heart. You're holding your heart here. Definitely do the tapping method. And then Bat Spirit, a rebirth is assured. So if you lost your passion, your motivation, your give a fuck for something, 
it's going to come back. If you've been feeling drained, if you've been feeling tired, I'm gonna tell you right now, especially from personal experience, you're not lazy. You just have a lot of purging that you're doing, especially if you have been wound up and there's been a lot of drama and a lot of stress involved. Your body is just now getting to relax. There's a lot of stuff that your body has to release in that relaxing time, okay? So like, you're not lazy. You're not lazy. Oh my gosh, you are not lazy. I can't stress that enough. Personal experience, like, you're not lazy. You're just purging a lot. And that is physically exhausting. Your emotions are directly connected to your um, nervous system, which is why your emotions affect you physically. And it was, can I get a whisper of love oracle to wrap this reading? Final message for Libra from the whispers of love oracle cards. Please and thank you for Libra. Oh, here we are. Choose love. I love this card. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. I just saw 21, 22 on the timer there. Twos and fours, man. Twos and fours. Oh, this is 21. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.